guys. Today I'm gonna do a what I eat in a day video and I'm also gonna show you a beginner's leg or like lower body workout. So the first thing I do before I start any workout is I do some stretching and warm up. spend about five to ten minutes warming up you can do a jog or you can go on the bike whatever you need just to get your heart rate going and then I follow that up with about five to ten minutes of stretching so when I'm doing lower body because I'm doing a lot of compound moves I'll kind of stretch my whole body so as well as stretching quads hip flexors hamstrings calves I'll also stretch my back and just like my arms as well, give the shoulders a little rotation um, just to get loose and get ready for the workout. So once that's done, I move on to the first exercise and I always make sure that my first exercises are the difficult compound movements. So that can be deadlifts, in this case it's squats. Because it's a beginner's leg workout and maybe some of you are completely new to the gym, make sure you have a do a little bit of research on squat technique I'm not going to go into too much detail in this video, but if you want that, then let me know and I'll dedicate a whole video for that. Um, but just go into the gym, ask a gym instructor just to have a look at your technique because even though you might think you're doing it right, it's just good to have someone just giving you like a little extra advice, a little bit of feedback, just to give you an idea that you're on the right track. Um, because for me, squatting is one of those things where you really do have to be very um, careful with technique because you don't want to cause any injuries especially when you've got a heavy weight on your back so start off relatively light make sure you get your technique on point and then you can start increasing the weight if you've already been to the gym a few times and you already know how to squat and you're very comfortable with it then I would choose a weight where the last three reps are very very difficult you'll see my face that's the kind of face you guys want to be pulling. So I chose a weight where I found the last three reps to be very difficult. on to alternate jumping lunges. Here I add a weight, but honestly if you're just starting out then do body weight first just so that you guys can figure out like the move because it's a bit weird. Um, you want to get enough height between each jump. And when you come forward into the lunge, you want to land with your uh, forward leg on your heel first rather than toe to heel. So heel to toe. And then you also want to make sure you've got a 90 degree angle in your front leg and a 90 degree angle at the knee in your back leg. And that your legs are kind of nice and parallel with the rest of your body. So if you feel like you're looking in the mirror and you can see your back leg is kind of caving in or your front leg is kind of caving inwards, just make sure that it's all in a nice parallel line. And then once you've got that down, um, you can start adding some weight. So start light, and then as you get stronger and stronger, you guys can build up to heavier weight. Okay, so the next one was leg press. So I'll show you two different variations here. The first one was where my legs were far apart, my toes are slightly like pointing outwards and then I come down nice and slow and come back up. Having a wide stance will emphasize your glutes a little bit more. And then the second um, second variation I show 
my feet are nice and close together and that emphasizes like the inside of your quads. So I did four sets in total, so two of each variation. One of the most important things for this one is not to lock your legs out. As soon as you lock your legs out, the weight is no longer going through your muscles, it's going through your joints. Keep all of the tension through your muscles and you'll make more gains as well. So it's kind of like a win-win situation. Okay, after those, I took a little break from all of the quad stuff and I just do calf raises. I did these on the Smith machine, but there are lots of different ways to do calf raises. If you are doing it on the Smith machine, I had a little platform that I made out of uh, plates so that I could kind of um, go negative. And very, very important to make sure that you're only isolating your calves. Make sure that your knee position is always the same. You see a lot of people where they kind of have their legs bent and then they straighten their legs. So then some of the movement is going through their quads as well. Okay, so then I do some step ups. I do four sets of 10 on each leg. So as soon as I do 10 on one leg, I put the weights down, give myself about 30 seconds rest, pick the weights back up and do 10 on the other leg. I also finish them off with a leg drive. Every time I get to the top of the movement, I just bring the other leg right up as high as I can, squeeze my butt on the leg that is planted on the bench, and then I step back down. Once I finish those, I go on to do some hamstring curls. hamstring curls to kind of just swing it and use all the momentum and then just like let it release but really really take your time on the concentric and the eccentric phase so the phase where you're contracting your muscles and the phase where you're relaxing your muscles um, and then you're going to make the most gains and then I finish off with another like functional exercise just to get your body working um, a little bit more in coordination I guess so here it's very similar to one of the side step ups that I did and that I showed in my functional video, but it's more for beginners. So I picked a smaller step and I'm not gonna jump as far this time. When your leg is lifting, you're also going to drive with the opposite arm to give you that kind of momentum as you step out to the side and up. So it's kind of just like a nice way to start bringing some plyometrics in if you're new to this kind of working out. And yeah then it's pretty much it. Once I've finished that, I do about two sets of 15 on each leg. Um, then I do some stretching, I might warm down a little bit. If you wanna add your cardio, add it then, not before your leg workout. And yeah, that's the workout done. Now I'm gonna show you what I eat in a day. Stick around and you guys can see all of the recipes that I make during my day of eating. Thanks so much, see you in the next clip, bye.
guys have pretty much realised that I don't really meal prep. So if you liked what you saw, then all of the recipes are in the description box, as well as the workout routine if you guys are interested. Um, and yeah, let me know what you thought. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.